All right, so um, I changed the name on the presentation. In case you guys are wondering, I'm still going to show you how to find great trades with exhaustion, and that's really important. We're going to get into that. But to my true backpack trader style, I want to trade less and make more. So I changed the title, How to Potentially Maximize Your Profits in Minimum Time. Seven of the best trading hacks known to man, but not known to most traders. So I hope it helps. I want you to take some notes. And um, before I get to um, the presentation, got a little business. First of all, as you know, trading's risky. You've heard this a million times, but I just can't impress upon you enough to never trade with money you can't afford to lose, okay? And um, before I get started and tell you a little bit about myself, I want to remind you to please interact with me. And I'm gonna give you a quiz midway through. And whoever answers the quiz the fastest, and I'm going to try this webcam really quick and see if it works. Um, yeah, it does. Hey, guys, that's me. It's my lab behind me. And this is my new book, and it's been out a few months. And whoever answers my quiz when I send it out, when I, I'm going to say it to you, and you're not going to know when I'm going to say it, so you guys got to be ready. First two people that answer the first questions or the proper questions, I'm going to send a free signed copy of my new book. All right, so hopefully that'll be uh, motivation for you to pay attention. And what should be more motivation is that this is really good information. It's going to help you with your trading. And that's really what I care about. I've been trading for 28 years since the early 90s. And I'm going to tell you about one of my earliest trading experiences, which is how I got hooked and how the backpack trader was actually born. I've been a mentor and a coach for many traders. I hate to use the word thousands, but I lost count over the years. I've worked with traders in 100 plus countries, and I've created some of the top performing strategies over the last 15 or so years as well, used by thousands of users. And that's where the thousands of number, the number here, thousands come from. So it's not really an exaggeration. And of course, I love to travel, but the backpack trader doesn't mean you have to schlep a backpack all over wherever. It just means that you have the freedom to trade when you want to trade and live the kind of life you want to live. And whether you want to trade from the Siberian Express or your own living room or anywhere in between, you want to become your own best version of the backpack trader. And today we're going to talk about seven trading hacks to rule the market. And I want you to take notes on this because if this is the only thing you take away from this presentation, for sure it's going to help you improve your trading. And then we're gonna get into the key exhaustion levels. Knowing the balance of power between buyers and sellers, I call it the great crocodile pit because you don't wanna get pulled into it. On one side are the buyers, on one side are the sellers, and you wanna trade on the right side of that line in the sand that's always shifting and always moving. And I'm gonna give you a great way on how to identify where that is. And it's gonna give you a big edge in the market. And then um, we're going to get into my own trade hacking lab, and I'm going to give you a demo of one of my all-time favorite strategies, a strategy that I still trade to this day, and it's been working for years it's just as well today as it has since the day I brought it out. And I'll even show you a session that I just did um, this week. I use it every day, but I want to talk you through one of my favorite sessions, and I'm not going to steal my own thunder until I get to it, so you'll have to hold your breath on that. All right, so let's get going. First of all, if you wouldn't mind doing me a favor and typing in where you're all from. I wanna know where you're from because we've got a great big world but a real small trader community and it's really interesting to know where people are located. So if you wouldn't mind typing in, okay, I see Louisiana, Knoxville, Detroit, Austin, Houston. I'm in the beautiful Napa Valley. I'm gonna go do some wine tasting later today. And I think you guys are done seeing my ugly mug. So I'm gonna turn that off and go straight to my screen. All right, anybody out of the country? All right, I see Papua New Guinea. Wow, Papua New Guinea, no kidding. Must be late over there. All right, so my earliest, most successful trade called the wife trade. It's not what you think, but this is what changed my life. And I wanna give you a quick little um, story here because I'm hoping that what you learn from me is also gonna change your life because trading can really do that for you. You wanna make sure that you take advantage of what trading can give you. So quite, um, if you guys remember, maybe some of you don't, back in 1992, 
Um, George Soros, the infamous George Soros, shorted the British pound and he made like a 25% return. This is the, the chart that he shorted. He was shorting other currencies too, the Deutschmark, there's a big story about it, but it became infamously known as the trade that, bank, that broke the Bank of England. You can see it here, $2 to the pound, and it just dropped down below $1.50 to the pound, and that was a huge trade. He made billions of dollars. Right around that time, I had learned about a pattern known as a head and shoulders pattern. And at the time, I thought, what does shampoo have to do with trading? Of course, I learned otherwise, nothing at all. But uh, I unwittingly took this trade. I didn't really know what I was doing. And I made several thousand dollars. And I literally took that money and backpacked my way through Europe. And along the way, being a drummer, I met street musicians. That's me playing with a, a Venezuelan guy that I met. Um, this is on the Charles Bridge in Prague. This is the audience we were playing in front of. So I later went to uh, hang out with him in Venezuela the following year, and that's when I met my wife. Like the first 24 hours I had arrived, I met my wife. So here we are 26 years later. That's us in the upper corner. So let me ask you, George Soros, he made billions of dollars. I made a wife. I'll let you decide who got the best side of that trade but for me it changed my life and i didn't know it at the time but the backpack trader was born so the whole point of this is that trading is just too darn important to get wrong right it could do so much for you in your life and it's really important you take it seriously a lot of people jump steps and i'm going to show you with the seven hacks that you really don't want to do that because you have a chance to get it right and it's really important that you do and i want to start off by you guys making a commitment right now, not to me, but to yourselves, to get it right this time. Get it right, okay? It's never too late. Whatever you've lost in the markets in the past, and I know it's true, we've all gone through it, it it'll just go into your foundation and you'll get it all back if you just get it right, okay? So make that commitment to yourself. In fact, type it in. Type it into the chat to help cement this idea in your head. I'm gonna get it right. Put it in there. All right, so if you're ready to change your trading, I'm gonna give you some ways to increase your profits, all right? Let's check it out. So back to the agenda. I'm gonna go through these seven hacks. I want you to write them down. And these are what they are. And the first one's probably the most important. Prove it to yourself. In other words, you can prove it to yourself before you risk your money, all right? Number two, the power of the trade plan. I can't emphasize that enough. I'm gonna drill down into all of these in a moment. Let's just go through them, write them down. Three, dance with the market. It's about control and surrender. And it's also about dynamic trade setups. And I'm gonna to talk to you about that. Number four, lifestyle. Well, you know what it's done for my lifestyle, but the whole idea is trade less, make more. It doesn't sound intuitive, it's counterintuitive. So much of successful trading is counterintuitive, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. And then the all-important 2% rule, we're going to talk a little bit about Einstein. And then the 5% art to trading that you could literally reduce to mechanical rules, and yet it's so important and will increase your winning rate by a dramatic amount. So we're going to get into that too, all right? So you guys with me here? I don't see anybody writing down, I'm committed, I'm committed. Come on, guys. All right, I do see now Raul. Salvador, and all right, good, very good, guys. I see North Carolina, the UK, Toronto, right on. All right, MB is committed. Keep writing them in. I want to, I want to see that you're committed because it's going to help you stay accountable. Being accountable should be the eighth hack, by the way. Accountable to yourself. All right, let's get going. All right, so prove it to yourself. Who here has seen the Clint Eastwood movie, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly? Well, I've added, the, I've changed the title to And the Great. All right, so this is super important. When you prove to yourself what it means to be successful, you use tools like what, what, what I use. It's called the Ultimate Trade Analyzer. It's a pre-programmed spreadsheet where I build a win-loss column. I log my trades, and I'm literally learning as I go the random distribution of wins and losses because I don't care how good your system is. 
you cannot control what happens on the right edge of the chart and all you can do is put the odds on your side that doesn't mean you're going to win 100 percent of the time in fact it means you won't and i so basically if you learn how to live with the good the bad the ugly there will be ugly and the great over and over and still witness your equity curve go up and up and up despite the ugly do you think you're going to believe in what you're doing are you going to be able to then take the trade the next trade in your plan on the right edge of your chart once you've proven it to yourself once you, once you've gone through that experience learning how to build a win loss column is critical to your success i want you to think of each trade as a tree in your forest okay but your overall forest is your equity curve and you could sacrifice a third of those trees if it means you can grow your forest two thirds larger as a result. Two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one step back. That's how you achieve your dream and your financial goals as a trader, okay? But you have to understand that and learn what that means. Because even though there's some ugly, if you could start here on the left and know that 10 months later, you're gonna be up here on the right, can you do it? Are you gonna be able to get through this six to eight week period where you're not really making any progress at all in fact you're getting you're going down are you gonna be able to do that i would submit that you cannot do that unless you've gone through the prove it to yourself first hack before you risk your real money and that's a beautiful thing is that you can prove it to yourself before you risk your real money why would you not do that does that make sense everybody I don't know. To me, it makes sense. I've been calling a live trade room for 18 years. I have so many thousands of hours in the market, I can't even begin to describe. And this is a truth that never goes away. Those that prove it to themselves first tend to succeed. Trade Station knows that too, and they give all my members a great benefit because they want you as a customer. And I'm going to tell you about that later. All right. Hack number two, the power of the trade plan. Okay, so a trade plan is how you prove, once you prove it to yourself, you can establish rules. In fact, you need the rules in order to prove it. Well, those rules are gonna let you show up tomorrow and trade the exact same way that you traded today, right? You know when to start, you know when what your goals are, you know what chart to trade, you know what strategy, you know what your money management is. Everything is predefined so that you can test it and get measurable results so that you prove all you have to do is trade this plan and you will make money. The power of the trade plan. But it, you could drill down so that every single trade itself is its own plan. Everyone has heard the cliche, plan your trade, trade your plan. But you know what, it became a cliche for a reason. It's actually not a cliche, it's a pearl of wisdom. And if you're not planning your trade and trading your plan, then you're missing out on, remember what I said, trading is too important to get wrong. So get it right. Check this trade. This is a data window that shows you the entry, the targets, the stop. I mean, it's all there for you. How much your rewards are to each target, doesn't matter what, it, what the chart is. This is just an example, but the entire trade is planned. When I start this trade, nothing is left to guessing. I know what I'm gonna do. And that helps me remove myself from the equation so that I'm not getting in my own way like so many inexperienced traders continue to do and they sabotage their own success. All right, so I can't emphasize how important the power of the trade plan is and you will see as I go on with this presentation exactly how powerful it is. Here's another example. In this case, you have an entry here, it's printing right on the chart. You've got targets right here, right on the chart. This is happening, imagine it's on the right edge and you have to make a decision to trade and the whole trade is here for you. And you've already proven this trade plan is gonna make you money. Is that gonna be easier for you to trade? Do you recognize this on the right? This is the same thing we just saw here. This is the trade finishing. This was the trade starting out. Imagine that. How much easier your life would be as a trader if your entire trade was planned each and every time and the individual trade fit into a bigger plan that you proved to yourself as I just showed you in the first hack. Would that help you guys? What do you think? 
think it would. I know it would. All right, let's keep going. Dance with the market. All right, I got this idea when I threw my daughter a quinceanera. Okay, you know I'm married to a Venezuelan woman. My daughter turned 15. She wanted a quinceanera. I'm like, I was shocked. Are you my daughter? Don't you want her backpack through Europe? <laughs> no, she wanted her party. Anyway, dancing with the market. That's where I kind of got this idea because this is what a good strategy will do. You let the market take the lead. You don't fight the market. We can't control the market. But what we can control is how we approach it, how we trade it, that we prove it to ourselves first. So you learn to focus on what you can control and surrender to what you cannot control. But it goes even further. The power of dynamic setups. What does that mean? Well, the strategy should dance with the market too. Notice this trade on the left. You had an entry, you got targets up here. Look how accurate it was. It's a smaller trade compared to the one that followed after. That's a much larger trade. The strategy was able to dynamically tune itself to the rhythm of the market and look how perfect that target was. Remember, this happens on the right edge of the chart. We have the benefit of hindsight now, but this really happened. This is in crude oil, but it doesn't matter what the symbol is. Let me ask you guys a question. How many of you trade crude oil futures? Type it in because that's one of my favorite markets. And, and go so far as to even type in, how many of you have traded the crude oil inventory report? Comes out every week. Anybody? If you haven't traded it, I've got a surprise for you. And if, you've, if you're yet to trade it, you're gonna be itching to trade it soon when you, when you see what I show you. Anyway, the whole point of dancing with the market is let the market take charge, but use a strategy that's not static, that's not stuck. I make 15 ticks on every trade. I make a dollar 50 on every. No, you need a trade plan and strategy that can adjust in real time to what the market, what these charts are telling you. It doesn't matter what chart you put it on, the price action speaking to you, the strategy is listening and it's able to tune itself. I want you to keep this in your mind as I continue to show you the rest of my presentation because this is going to, you, you guys should get goosebumps. I'm already getting them, and I've been doing this for years. So if you don't get goosebumps, I'm going to be shocked. I'm going to I'm gonna have to check your pulse and put a, a mirror under your nose. But let's, let's keep going. Um, yeah, so lifestyle. A lot of people adjust their lifestyle to accommodate their trading. I've talked to so many Forex traders, they literally sleep with their laptop because they're afraid they're going to have to do something in the middle of the night when Forex is doing whatever, moving. And I'm like, <laughs> that can't be good for your marriage. But the whole idea is this, that's no way to trade. Never adjust your lifestyle to accommodate your trading. That's wrong. What you need to do is trade in the right way to give you the lifestyle you've always wanted, that you know you deserve for yourself. Trading less is the answer. All you need to do is have a really good trade plan that's going to make you money, do it the same way each and every day, and then we'll get to the next hack and you'll see what I mean. Trading less is the answer and you'll, you'll literally make more money because you won't give it back. Remember, even with a winning strategy, I don't care if it's a 90% winner, there's going to be 10 losses in a row. There are going to be random losses. And you could have quit with your money in your pocket, but instead you gave it back. And now what are you going to do, right? You're going to trade more. You're, you're wrecking your lifestyle and maybe your trading account. This is such an important thing for you guys to consider. You need the trade plan that works for you to help give you the life you've always wanted, not the other way around. Very important. If you disagree or if you agree, type it in. Let me know. Scott says, I strive for that goal, trading less and earning more. Right on, Scott. You're speaking my language. I'm going to show you how. All right, so how about the 2% rule? Well, this is part of how you get to that goal. The 2% rule says risk small as a ratio to your capital. In other words, whatever your trading account is, never risk more than 2% of your account on any trade, and it should be a proven trade a trade that's part of a proven trade plan. Otherwise, you should risk zero. You see what I'm saying? You have a proven plan, you've proven it, you know you're gonna make money with it, now risk 
only 2% on each trade. And the reason why is because of the random distribution of wins and losses, which you will learn when you go through the proving process. So the point is, is that the 2% grows as your account grows. Understanding the ramp, okay? Imagine that you're just starting out. The front end of your sequence of trades, and when I talk about the front end, let me get to the next slide and you'll see what I mean. This is a, um, a histogram that shows you position sizes coming off and on, off and on, off and on, off and on. Way back here, notice that the front end of the ramp doesn't look like it's getting much elevation and you might be trading for a while and think you're not making any money. But eventually the odds kick in and start doing the heavy lifting and you start growing your account. And as you grow your account, you give yourself a raise by moving your finger from the one to the two, from the two to the three. By the way, this is the Einstein hack, the eighth wonder of the world, the power of compounding. So with just risking 2%, notice that at some point you hit an exponential curve and you zoom all the way up until you get to your maximum size, the maximum size that you're gonna trade. And then you're just coasting. Every one of these trades going to the right is your maximum size, whatever your market is. Imagine it's crude oil, I don't know, 20 contracts or 50, whatever you, whatever the market will bear. And you were risking 2%, but now your account is go growing in value, but your position size isn't. By the time you get this far, you're literally risking like one-tenth of 1% 1 of your capital on a huge trade. Is that going to make you nervous? Are you going to be able to sleep at night knowing that you're risking a very small fraction of your account at maximum size as your account continues to grow and grow and grow? Amazing. Don't argue with Einstein. Power of compounding. Use the 2% rule on a proven trade plan and you will turn your trading around. I'm telling you that's how it works. And finally, oh, this just illustrates if you don't, increase your uh, position. Let's say you just start with one contract, that's the blue line. So a real good trade plan is still gonna grow. It went from in 10 months, 2000 up to like 8,500 or something like that. I mean, that's a huge amount of growth, right? You'd think, gee, 10%, you have a career on Wall Street. Well, <laughs> this is what it looks like when you start putting 2% of your position and your 2% grows as your account grows, and that's on the right side. This is the axis on the right. It still starts with $2,000, but it grew to over $300,000, the exact same trades in the exact same amount of time. And I'm only showing you this to illustrate Einstein's power of compounding and how you trade less to make more. It's such a critical concept. You guys really need to build this into what you do, all right? So finally, the 5% art to trading. I call it the insurance policy, and it's merely just learning where the key levels on your chart are and making tiny adjustments. In other words, you might have a long trade that's sitting right below a key number. Maybe it's around 100 or 1,000 number or a, a chart pattern. Just adjust a tiny bit, bit above. Ask for price action confirmation to actually prove it's going to push through in the direction of your trade. Those little things will keep you out of losing trades, especially when you start stacking on really smart indicators and stuff like that. All right, so this is something I teach too. It's really important. And you can, you know, the art to trading, what I find is a lot of traders become too much of an artist. They try to talk themselves out of the trade or they're adjusting around, adjusting around. They're just doing too much and you don't want to do that. I'm talking about very small, minor little adjustments that reduce your losing trades a significant amount, and that's it. You don't wanna be afraid of the trade. You have your trade plan. You have your, the next trade you're supposed to take in the plan. You can work this in as part of the rules, and I like to see this 5% art, the subjective side of trading, reduced down to maybe one or 2%, because the other 3%, we're gonna turn those into rules to follow so that we can prove it to ourselves, right? It all fits together. Tell me something, guys. Are all of you or any of you using these seven hacks? Write it down. I want to know who's actually using this. All right, as of today. Right on, Ann. <laughs> I appreciate that. So let's get into the taking advantage of key exhaustion levels. We're going to get to my trade hacking lab here in a moment, but I got to set the stage 
and explain to you a few things first. All right. So, um, and remember, I'm going to be giving you guys a quiz and you might win a signed copy of my book. So pay attention. You guys remember Muhammad Ali and his famous rope-a-dope uh, technique where he would just cover himself up until his opponent got exhausted. And then, of course, he would come out swinging, became the greatest boxer of all time. We're borrowing from that concept. Think about the markets as the big battle between buyers and sellers. Think of the advantage you will have when you can identify when one of those sides becomes exhausted. Do you think you're going to be better off than 90% of the traders out there? I'm telling you, you will be. And there's a real simple way that we do that with the strategy I'm going to show you. See these three dots here? These are exhaustion dots. And they identify when the market, one side or the other, is tired. If you look over in the lower left corner, yellow, blue, green, that tells you that the sellers are exhausted. And look what happens, the market rises. How about up in the upper right, with those three arrows? Blue, red, red. That tells you when the sellers, I mean the buyers, <laughs> when the buyers are exhausted and then the sellers take over, right? Just those three dots, pretty cool. It also visually shows you consolidation because there are different degrees of exhaustion. Sometimes one just catches their breath and then resumes their strength. Okay, so we learn how to handle that too as we start to, to um, layer in other really smart pieces of information. Okay, so in case you don't know what this strategy is, the idea and the intent of it is to give you really smart pieces of price action information, live price action. All right, so the price action here is telling you when one is tired, one side is tired, and one side is not when one side is likely to take over okay so it, it goes beyond that of course there's more but this is the first building block all right so let's keep going all right this is your first quiz what do these three dots mean you guys the first one to type it in is going to win a book long short or out type it in all right, I see a lot of you typing it in, and I'm going to let, let's see, the winner goes to David Johnson. Yeah, David Johnson, you were the first one in. So I need you to send your email. Send your email so we can get in touch with you, get your address, and I'll mail you a copy of my book, signed copy. All right, so pay attention, everybody. Next question. What does this mean? Long short or out <laughs> everyone's saying short short few outs <laughs> all right you guys are funny this doesn't mean anything <laughs> that's just me being a prankster sorry guys no 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 uh no prize on this one you're all wrong <laughs> all right i know a little mischievous little mischievous there all right how about this long short or out what's that mean all right d empty field d empty field you're the winner please send in your email so i can send you a free copy of my book all right so you guys are paying attention i really appreciate it and um if you guys you know you can find my book anywhere it's all over the place but what i'm going to give you here today is even more valuable so let's just keep going all right so now can you see, you can see the exhaustion dots, right? I mean, that quiz helped your brain kind of zone in and, and see what these exhaustion dots are telling you, did it not? Contentment. <laughs> right on, Toby. Hi, Toby. All right, let's keep going. So the next thing, knowing the balance of power, the great crocodile pit, that ever-moving, shifting line in the sand. All right, so someone says no video. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I do see I'm projecting. All right, so Confucius says don't get drug into the crocodile pit. Did you ever hear him say that? I mean, that's pretty wise. You don't want to get eaten by crocodiles. That means don't, you know, don't be buying when the buyers are tired. Don't be selling when the sellers are tired. You're going to get drug into the crocodile pit. Okay, so check this out. 
See this dotted line right here? That's called the balance line. And on the above, on the top side, when the bars are closing above it, the buyers are in charge. When the bars are closing below it, the sellers are in charge. Notice how, let's just look at this example. When the buyers become tired, and now we see the bars closing below the balance line, markets tend to go down. You can see on the left the opposite. Sellers are tired. The green bars start closing above the balance line. This is the shifting line in the sand, the crocodile pit. Okay, we want to be on the right side of it. It's amazing that if you just have these two things and nothing else, you are 90% better off than everyone else who doesn't have this. This You could trade with just this and nothing else, but we're going to even go further. I'm going to stack the odds more in your favor. So in order to show you how we're going to do that, it's time to get into my trading lab. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to pull up the charts, and I'm going to walk you through what just happened, I always show this strategy based on current trades, the same trade plans, okay? This has been working for years. And if, in case you don't know what this is, this is the Counterpunch Express 2, okay? So maybe some of you know it, maybe some of you haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna show you the crude oil inventory report that I trade every single week. I traded it live in my trade room in front of everybody just this Thursday, usually it's on Wednesday, but because of President's Day, it was on Thursday. Starts at 11 a.m. and then we wait two minutes. So you could tell where the report comes out, right? Because that's what this bar is. A lot of volatility, the report just comes out. But let me ask you this. Could anybody tell me which direction the market is gonna go next? I mean, we're looking at the right edge here. We're looking off to the right. Can we see what's gonna happen? We can't, right? No, we can't. All right. You can guess and you might guess right, but that doesn't help you with your trading. Yeah, it can go down. It can consolidate. You might be right. You might be not right. It's fun to guess, but that you can't make a living trading just guessing. What? Look what happens when we put on our exhaustion dots. Kind of gives us a clue, doesn't it? It starts to take shape. What happens when we add our balance line? Interesting, right? Remember, we're going to wait two minutes. There's another indicator that stacks the odds in our favor, and it's called the high trend chop indicator. And what it does, it's this amazing indicator on the bottom, is it shows us the fast trend on a slower chart, a chart that's like five times slower. Imagine this was a five minute chart, it would show us the fast trend on a 25 minute chart so that we can trade with the larger trend, we don't have to take our eyes off the ball, it's right there on the chart in front of us. Okay, it indicates uh, choppy areas where we may want to stand down, but I'm going to move on. The strategy will take all these rules. I haven't explained to you the rules. I'm just showing you how it works. Even if you don't know the rules, it doesn't matter because the strategy knows the rules and it's going to print the trades right on the chart for you. So I want to show you what I saw when the crude oil report came out and I was trading it live with my members. And this is what happened. I've been doing this for years. To me, it was like, you know, there's nothing to do except take the trade. So we wait our two minutes, and that happens right here. And look what happens. A trade prints. It, it, coincidentally, it was right at two minutes. That, sometimes you have to wait longer. But that's the trade. Now, I want to show you something. When I click on this bar here, I don't know what's going to happen next. But I do know where my entry is. I do know where my targets are, where my stop is. The entire trade is planned, right? All I have to do is trade it. I know that if I get to my objective, I'm gonna make some money. The objective is to get to target two. That's the primary objective. If you get to target two, that's the goal. If you're positive, you're done. Oftentimes we're one and done, that's great. Then show up tomorrow and do the same thing, or in this case next week, because this is once a week. You can trade this crude report, same strategy every day as well. It's going to make 14 cents. That's $140 per contract if we get to target two. The next objective is if we get to this, this first target or that little pinprick dot that you see above it, then we're going to move our stop, which is down here, and we're going to move it up to break even. So our first objective is to get to break even. The second objective, of course, is to get to our target. And then we could trade multiple positions. We can go to a bigger target three, 
and we could also trail. So look what happens. It hasn't triggered in yet, but a few minutes later, it does. It actually took 38 seconds. It triggers in right here. So this trade is placed and you place a bracket order so that when your entry triggers in, now your targets and your stop, they're live and they're attached to one another so that when one hits, the other cancels. Use a template, I teach you how to do this. Okay, so check it out. Kind of looks like it might lose, it's taken some heat, but the stop is placed just right. And you have to realize that sometimes trades take time to develop. Look what happens. It almost stopped out, but instead, we're still holding our breath. This trade took a little longer than usual. That's okay. The market does what it wants. We're dancing with the market. Look at the stop. It just held us in the trade. There's nothing to do, but then it stabs up and it hits the money management level and the stop moves from here up to here. And now we're in a risk-free trade. So we move our stop. We have nothing to lose. We even lock in a tick to cover commission. And then it pushes through. So one and done. First trade. We hit our goals, $140 per contract. Remember the 2% rule, that $140 at some point could be six contracts or 16 contracts, whatever. You could have another one on target three and it just missed target three by one tick right there. And then finally, notice that the stop is moving up following the crocodile pit line, the balance line. So we're locking in more and more profit, trailing higher and higher and Target three is achieved, that's good for $200 a contract, and it's still trailing higher and higher. And you can see it finally comes up to here and then stops out. And it was about 26 minutes, and then we're done, that's it. I've seen this happen in 26 seconds, three minutes. This one took 26 minutes, doesn't matter. Notice how we're dancing with the market and that we have a trade plan that's proven. All right, let me show you some more examples. This is a crude oil report. I wanna show you how this works. Um, let's look at Forex. Actually, before we do, I'm gonna show you one more uh, futures contract. I'm gonna show you the Dowie Mini because this just happened yesterday on Friday. We start this at 8.30 Central Time. That's right when the market's open at 9.30 New York time. This is on the right edge of the chart right here. It's gonna look like this. And I already taught you everything. You know where the entry is, you know your targets, you know how you're gonna trade it. You're gonna trade it the same way. There's nothing new to learn. And so look what happens. It comes down. It Notice that it takes time to develop. The stop is up here. And, and it ultimately works its way down. On this, this particular chart, because we're using a 14 tick momentum bar, it's a larger chart, we take profits at target one. And that was good for 33 points, $165 a contract. We could take profits at target two and target three. The stop is moving lower. And I want you to see how accurate these targets are. This one just barely missed before stopping out. So this was one and done. Again, take what the market wants to give you, not what you want from the market. You might be tempted to do that, but that's gonna get you into trouble. It's about dancing with the market, right? Take what the market wants to give you. You have a strategy here that's adjusting to the market condition in live time, tuning itself. You learn how to lean on the system and it takes so much pressure off of yourself. That's a trick I learned on my very first day when I started calling live trades 18 years ago. And you can imagine how scared I was when, on, when the curtain was about to open. That little voice, lean on the system. I go, oh yeah, good idea. If the trade loses, it's not my fault. I'm leaning on the system. You could do wonders for yourself by taking that pressure off of yourself. Let's look at a Forex swing trade. I know that we get Forex traders in here. I love Forex, especially swing trading it. This is on the US Swiss. I want you to pay attention to the accuracy of these projected targets and how they're all different sizes so that you can see what dancing with the market really means. Way back here, this is back last September. This is a daily chart, so it moves slow. Look at target one. We're gonna take profit at all three targets with, with uh, Forex because we could scale out we could tune our position size with a great combination of micros, minis, full size lots, grow our position using the 2% rule, right? So 96 pips. Look at this one. Look how accurate that is. I mean, it was almost too accurate, 110 pips. Remember on the right edge of the chart? 
Look at this one. This one was 139 pips. Went a little further, almost hit target two, and then stopped out. How about this? This is a losing trade. Yeah, some trades lose. 121 pips. How about this one? Look at that. Look at the accuracy of target two, 97 pips before it came down. And now a short trade. Well, that's the trade we're currently in. So out of all these trades, we did have a losing trade, but I want you to see how accurate these targets are. And when I apply this to other charts, keep watching. How does it know to tune itself? Well, that's the magic of the strategy, and that's why it has stood the test of time for all these years and works just as well today as it did when it first came out. That's why I still trade it, and I've developed a lot of good strategies. This is still holding its own like it always has. All right, so this is a four-hour chart with the pound yen. I developed this plan like six years ago. This is a current trade. In fact, when I marked up this chart uh, earlier in the week, it, it, the bars were only up to here. And it came up and it hit a perfect target too. Came, came off a little, but it's still going. You can see that it's still trailing up. This is a customized uh, plan. The, the targets are a little bit different than what I was showing you, but it's still dancing with the market. It's been working for many years. It's got over 270 pips locked in. And this is a really interesting chart. It's really easy to trade too when you have the right tools. So I know a lot of you are trading equities and options, and I, I kind of wanted to save that for last because this is truly remarkable. And I'm going to kind of give you guys a quick little history lesson as we walk through some of these. But first, let me show you the SPY. Okay, this is the S&P ETF. And I'm going to show you how to use this strategy to trade options. So imagine this is on the right edge of the chart. You click on it, and you already know what your targets are. You know where your entry is. You buy a simple in-the-money call option, okay? And in this case, it was a September 314 call because when you click on it, you could see that it's 313 and 80 cents. So uh, slightly in the money, maybe it's a tiny bit out of the money. It's right near the money, at the money, somewhere in there. Okay, it really doesn't matter. Look what happens though. As you hit each target, you could have made $14 on 100 shares of Spider, would have been, you know, 1400 bucks, 140 bucks, not that much. You would have had like $33,000 committed. Or you can buy a simple call option and make a 37% return, a 65% return to target two, 112%, 121%. I mean, these are huge percentage gains with very minimal risk because they're options and you're never going to lose more than the cost of the option. And in fact, I'll show you how to buy the right option so that you'll never even hold the option to expiration. And even on a losing trade, you get to sell the option back and recapture some of your premium. That does wonders to your risk reward. It's amazing. But the whole point is, is that I just taught you the whole strategy. You have nothing more to learn. Learn it once, you use it for a lifetime. You got your balance line, you got your exhaustion, you got your price action. Let's see what happens on the short side. This is a losing trade. You get short, but notice that the stop is way up here. Instead, we're gonna flip to long. The strategy identifies, we better go the other way. Why? Because the sellers got tired and we're now on the other side of the crocodile pit, right? So you're only losing this much. And you're selling your option back and gaining most of your premium back. Very small loss versus what would have been a full loss. Instead, you're getting on the winning side of the trade, an accurate target before coming off again. See how that works? Now you're flat. Here's a short trade. Look at this target. Notice where it is. Notice what happens when it hits it and goes the other way again. It's totally tuning itself over and over. How about this one? This is a much larger trade. Look at this target. I don't know you guys, but that continues to amaze me. I'm just going forward. Another small loss. Then you get some pretty big winners. And this is the current trade. This trade's still going. I'm gonna give you one more example. This is your history lesson. You all live through it. I'm also going to talk to you about this line, by the way. I forgot to tell you. This is a bonus indicator. It's called the trend mode indicator. We use it on some charts. And basically, it's really simple. When the line is red, you only go short. When the line is blue, 
you only go long. That's it. Blue means long, red means short. Okay. So this is a story of COVID. Remember when that happened? It's still happening. But when it first came out and the markets panicked and crashed, Counterpunch Express gave us a short here, projected a target. The target got hit. And then the market turned. Got a blue line right here. It'll wait until it gets blue again. Triggers in, look at this. Look at that perfect target before coming off. Now I want you to just watch what happens from last year going forward. Look at all these trades, the size of the trades and how they're adjusting and what happens to the price action. Remember, all you do is click on the bar and you get your whole trade. Look at that target. I didn't make this up. I mean, this is just the same indicators and everything just on the QQQs instead of the other charts I've been showing you. Look how accurate target three was. Almost hit it. Is this a losing trade, guys? It's not, right? Line is blue. We don't take shorts. We filter out what would have been a losing trade. Instead, nice accurate long trade. Look at that. Another one. A little choppy. No trades. A possible short that cancels doesn't trigger in. Another long trade, a losing trade. Another long trade, I stopped marking it up because there's just so many of them. Look at that, look how accurate that is. And then this is the current trade. I mean, that's amazing, right? We made a lot of money trading the queues with the Counterpunch Express. Just a recent history lesson. This actually happened. So what do you think, guys? Pretty cool, huh? Let me get back to the presentation here. I'll be taking questions in a moment. I know you all just can't wait to take this home, but let me find my presentation. All right, so. Yeah, that, that um, four hour pound yen chart literally has been winning 85% for like 15 years. And, and it was winning that when I first came out with this plan six years ago through all my prove it to myself testing, and, and that win rate continues to this day. Okay, so exact trade plans. Crude oil report, you guys saw $140 this time to target to, not 150. Obviously, I use the crude oil report a lot because it wins a lot. And just in case you don't know me, I've been doing this for so long. I, I started collecting um, testimonials that are just sent to me just randomly from people over the years from way back, from like 11 years ago. And I just wanted to kind of show you just a random look at my inbox. Look at this. This is dating back to 2011. I've been receiving these for years and years and years, nearly 300 of them to this date, 2019, 2018. Just it keeps coming. I got, of course, new ones. And this is about the Counterpunch Express. Not only does this work for me, but here's a story about John who trades natural gas. He loves it. I'll let you guys read this, but I kind of got to push through because I'm running out of time. Um, this one just came in also from Scott. Um, he actually did an interview for me, um, but you could tell he just loves it. He's amazed. He absolutely loves the rules that came with it. Simple rules, blah, 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 loves it. All right, so here's the thing, what you've learned today. First of all, you can prove it to yourself that trading will make you money before you risk your own money. And when you have tools like the Counterpunch Express, do you think you can prove it to yourself when you see the entire trade and you can look back and use a powerful pre-programmed spreadsheet to log your trades, build your confidence, build your belief, build your trade plan, prove you're gonna make money before you ever risk your money? I mean, come on. Why wouldn't you do that? It's a game changer for those that follow this technique, okay? Um, truth is, at the right edge of the chart, we have to make trade decisions. And none of us know shit, right? We don't know bleep. Bleep, fill in the blanks. I probably shouldn't have said shit, but we're all adults here. We don't know what's going to happen next, and it's scary. You could reduce that when you've proven it to yourself first, and you have a trade plan that you can literally show the forest grows despite some ugly. We're all gonna experience some ugly, some good, some bad, some ugly, but a lot of great.
The best trades follow the worst. The winners come back. They do when you have a plan that you've proven. I can't emphasize that enough. It is so critical. I would have fallen on my face years ago in front of countless traders in a live trade room if what I'm telling you is not true. That should be a testimony in unto itself. It is, actually. I'm living proof. We learn to dance with the market. We use Einstein's eighth wonder of the world so that we can win our lives back and let trading give us what we want in life. We don't give our lives to our trading. That's no way to live. That's no way to trade and you won't succeed anyway. Use trading to give you the life you want. Okay, could we all do that? Less makes you more. Imagine if I kept trading after that crude oil report, after winning, following my rules and my plan, getting greedy, trading again, and the next trade lost. Random distribution of wins and losses. And now where am I at? Do I have to trade again? What if I do? What if I lose again? Oh man, I could have kept my money. What's more aggravating than making money, some good trading, and then giving it back to the market? I mean, that's, that sucks, right? Well, let's not do that. Don't do that. Instead, run your trading like a business. Be the boss, be the CEO. The CEO is not gonna let his workforce break the rules. That's a big deal right there. You should start putting on that CEO hat and take charge of your own trading following the seven hacks. And if you use a Counterpunch Express 2, you'll be all the better. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. Hopefully, I've proven to you this is a process that works. This is not like the new kid on the block. This is a strategy that has stood the test of time. I, I mean, I literally created this four strategies ago. This thing works. It continues to work. And it's... That's why I keep presenting it, okay? So I'm about to uncover for you what's inside of the Counterpunch Express. This could sell for a lot of money, but I've got a very special Trade Thirsty deal for you. I've talked with uh, with my friends at Trade Thirsty and decided that we really want to get you guys going, and I want to build an army of successful traders. That's what I'm interested in, and I want you to be part of that. So you get a complete method right? I showed it to you. It's versatile. You can learn to dance with the market and it works with any level of trading from beginner to advanced and everywhere in between. This is the Counterpunch Express 2. It used to be just the Counterpunch Express. Now it's 2.0. Why? Because it's been upgraded with some amazing stuff. You saw how the, the stop knew to move to break even. It knew how to trail. There's more to it that it can do as well. You had that great information in the data window. That's all new, okay? And also, I didn't show you, but you could literally turn on additional trades that show you setups that happen inside of other setups because you might have missed the one that happened and there's still good setups to that could take place. And I'll show you how to use that. It's great. In fact, if I showed you the crude oil report again and turn those on, you would have seen like two or three other long winning trades that were also winners and just as accurate. It's, it's really amazing. Anyway, that comes with this. Okay, and then I should talk to you about the control panel. Risk reward details, it helps you with your uh, risk. You know what you're risking, you know what your rewards are gonna be to each target. And I'm gonna give you the high trend chop indicator, that uh, really great histogram on the bottom. I didn't really show you how to use it because I'm not here to you know, teach you everything about the strategy. I did teach you about 95% of it, but that's the, the high trend or the fast trend on the chart that's five times slower right at a glance so you can tr trade with the bigger trend and um, it's of course proven and reliable but you get more um, not only do you get all the indicators for life but it works on TradeStation, Ninja, MT4 and Thinkorswim and I'm going to give you a license to all of it so you don't just use one you could use as many as you want no extra charge. The, the training is some of the best training I've ever done it's nuts to bolts from start to finish you're going to literally learn everything it's very easy and um, it's all video based the trend mode indicator is another bonus that's when the line is blue only go long when the line is red only go short that doesn't come with the strategy but it does today i'm giving it to you guys as an extra bonus okay and then all the trade plans i've created a bunch of trade plans for you 
These are proven trade plans. They've worked over the years and they've stood the test of time. I'm also gonna teach you how to chase down your own ideas so that you could develop your own trade plans. Those are the ones that tend to work the best. We're all different. We all have different lifestyles. We all live in different places of the world. There's a, something to trade for you no matter what, even if you work all day and you can't day trade. Even if you're on the other side of the world, even our friend in Papua New Guinea who said hello earlier in the session, there's a trade plan for you. Counterpunch Express dances with the market. Doesn't care what the symbol is. Okay, we're gonna talk about that and teach you that. All right, so, all right, well, I just stole my own thunder. You get all the custom indicators, all the training, everything I said, I could sell this for a lot of money. 997 would be too cheap. But for you guys today, it's only $4.97, one-time charge, you own it all, just like that. What I showed you on that crude oil report literally paid for it in one trade. Trade two contracts, three contracts, when you grow your account in one trade, you've paid for the whole thing. And you have an indicator, it's not just an indicator, it's a complete training uh, program, right? It's not just an indicator, I can't emphasize that enough. It's all those seven hacks I gave you, that's what this is. You get it all at a glance on your chart for the price of a winning trade. That's it. And then you own it for life. It's a no brainer, guys. I've been doing this for so long. So um, there's some other things too. I'm going to invite you into my trade room. It meets on Mondays through Thursdays, starts at 9.30. You can literally practice a strategy with us in live time. You could even come in and trade the crude oil report with me each and every week using the exact same chart that I just showed you. Not bad, huh? Just that in itself is well worth the price of admission. Here's another crude oil report. This one happened in 2016. One and done in three minutes. Look, it, there's nothing new to learn. You learn what the color means, that's it. It's the exact same trade, still a 377 tick chart. Nothing's changed. That was five years ago. I just showed you what happened two days ago. We were one and done. This was one and done. I mean, I, I don't know how to prove it any more than that. This is how you get it. www.backpacktrader.com slash join. Real simple. Type that in your URL. Uh, Jeanette, maybe you could put that in the chat for me. I see you already did. Just You can open up the chat and just click on it. Backpacktrader.com slash join. Really simple. I'm about to get to some questions. I want to show you this is what it looks like on Ninja Trader. By the way, that's another one back in 2016. You could see the trades. This was multiple trades. You only needed one, this first one. But you could see that it just, you know, it's dancing with the market. That's how it looks on, on this traders, uh, on this Ninja Trader chart, okay? It works great on Thinkorswim. These are some spontaneous um, comments from the trade room, you can see. People really loving it here. Um, there's another bonus I'm gonna give you. I showed you that pre-programmed spreadsheet. Just the spreadsheet is worth 497, the Ultimate Trade Analyzer. This is one of the most important tools that you could ever use to become a successful trader. It's a pre-programmed spreadsheet where you could slice and dice your trade data in such a way that you literally prove to yourself, hack number one, you prove to yourself that you're gonna make money before you risk one penny. And that's what this is gonna give you. It's gonna teach you that win-loss column, the good, the bad, the ugly, where you can prove this is the forest, right? All the trees, some trees falling, but the forest getting larger, right? If you give this big picture vision to yourself and you prove to yourself that you've got a plan that's gonna work, you're gonna be better off than 95% of the traders out there. And you wanna give that to yourself because trading's just too darn important. Everything for 497 everything I just showed you, including the Ultimate Trade Analyzer. And then I'm also gonna show, give you a few other bonuses. Uh, you have a multi-computer license, which means you could use it on more than one computer, no extra charge. And I got two great eBooks, in case you haven't known or you didn't, haven't received them yet. These are part of the training, the 12 Powers of Successful Training, and the No-Brainer Guide to Trading Success. I know it's just you know bonus four, it's not just an afterthought. These two eBooks, should become your trader religion. And if you combine all of this, you're gonna be 90% better, better off than 90% of the traders out, out there. 
total package is worth like 3,500 bucks. I'm giving it to you at all for 497. That's a 90% discount. Limited to the first 50 subscribers. I mean, obviously I can't give it away to everybody, but you guys here, you all get it. Um, unless you're number 51, but then you just have to send me an email and I'll probably give it to you anyway. All right, guys, so jump on board, the backpacktrader.com slash join. I'm gonna leave that up there, and in the meantime, I'm gonna take some questions, and I've had quite a few questions. I'm gonna go through and read some of the main ones. Uh, what platform does it work on? You probably typed that in before I showed you, but I'll just repeat, it works on TradeStation. It works on Ninja Trader 7 and 8, it works on MT4, it's fantastic with Forex, and it works on Thinkorswim. It's fantastic with options. You could literally use though any of those charts and you could place your trade with any broker you want. I personally use TradeStation charts, but I place my trade with other brokers. I use Owanda, I use Thinkorswim, I use a variety of brokers, I use TradeStation charts. And one of the things I didn't tell you about, because I forgot, Super important, TradeStation knows that my members succeed at a much higher rate than the general public. In fact, they know it so well that they want you as a customer. They will give you 100% of anything you get that I create, including this, 497 bucks. They will refund to you in commission rebates, and you have no time limit. 20% of your commission rebates every month, they will put back into your account real money until the total cost is paid. You literally can let TradeStation pay for this for you. That's how much they want you as a customer. And this, they've been doing this for my members for a long time because it's just true. So what do you think of that? Let TradeStation buy this for you. And I'll give you all that information once you're on board. All right, so um, that's a pretty sweet deal. Also, um, does it work with options trading? I think I showed you it does. Um, can I day trade? Yeah, you obviously can. When is the crude oil inventory report? All right, good question. It's every Wednesday at 10.30, except when there's a three-day weekend, and then it is Thursday at 11 a.m., like what I just showed you this past week. Um, what time is the trade room? Yeah, the trade room's at 9.30 every day. We're usually done by around 10.30, and not every day, Monday through Thursday. Friday's a great day to trade. We just happen to take it off. Why? I like three-day weekends, so I can. That's the reason. I'll teach you guys how to trade on your own, so Fridays you'll be okay. And I do a lot of impromptu sessions. You guys will get invited to that too. Um, is this a subscription or one-time cost? It's a one-time cost, literally the cost of one winning trade, maybe two. You own it for life. Uh, what a great presentation. Thank you, Chevy. Appreciate that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, Chris asking if we take PayPal. Chris, I used to, but I can't anymore. Long story. Um, believe it or not, PayPal, um, they're crooks. I, I, I don't I don't want, don't want to talk bad about them, but they're crooks. I, I don't do business with PayPal, and there's a reason behind it, and I'm sorry if that's an inconvenience, but that's just the way it is. It's a moral decision. Um, what else? I came late. Is method effective with daily bars, trade using limit orders and stop orders? Uh, yeah, Greg. So, uh, we use limit orders if we're past the entry and we want to grab it on a pullback. Otherwise, we're using stop orders. And it works great on daily charts. I prefer it on daily charts with Forex and with equities. With futures, I wouldn't recommend it because the risk will be too large. You want to use day trading charts. And I like the dynamic charts, like tick charts and range bars. And it works great with Ranko, fantastic with Ranko. Any Ranko traders in the house, works really good. All right, but it works good on five-minute bars too. I mean, it's really versatile, super versatile. Remember, dancing with the market. I know you missed part of the presentation. Maybe you'll get to see the replay. Um, is the trend mode indicator lifetime too? MB, yes, yes. Everything I showed you, you get for life. Everything, no hidden tricks or secrets here. I want you to have everything you need to be successful, including um, the ability to contact me. So if you're interested in contacting me, write this down. My email is really simple, troy at backpacktrader.com. That's it, troy at backpacktrader.com. And I will answer all emails, that's what I do. So 
let's see does it work on crypto that's a really good question if you can chart crypto on one of the platforms and, I, and i'll tell you you can there are some mt4 brokers overseas where you literally can go bitcoin versus the euro bitcoin versus the dollar litecoin versus it i mean counterpunch doesn't care what the symbol is it really doesn't care and i've seen amazing i mean i i'm tracking it on the bitcoin etf or the, the actual the futures contract actually and it just called this last huge run up into the 50,000 range. I, I wish I could had time to pull up the chart and show you. Nothing new. It's the same thing. It's just a different symbol. Dance with the market. Um, do you have support setting up TradeStation? I've never used that platform, but your offer is enticing. Jack, yeah, for sure. Um, I've got my support team that will help you. The, the setup's super easy. It, I mean, we it's super easy. But anyone that has issues, we can jump on your computer. We can help you. We'll do it for you. Um, one of the things that I've known for over the years is service. I always take care of my people. That's why my inbox is stuffed with so many testimonials. Okay. So yeah, I'll definitely make sure you're okay. I've got a really smart team too. They're really good. My student who's been with me for years knows the strategy as well or better than me is calling the trade room on Tuesdays and Thursdays. He uses Ninja Trader charts, by the way. So you can use Ninja Trader charts. Or if you're using Ninja, you got a trade room host who's an expert who's showing all these trades on Ninja. I use TradeStation, so you get the best of both worlds. Okay, Ral is in. Great. Welcome. Really appreciate that. All right, Joshua, I'm glad you joined. I can't wait to meet you. Carol, excellent. All right, everyone's piling in. I love it. Take advantage of this amazing deal. Um, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to spend with me. Uh, uh, Jeanette, my friends at Trade Thirsty, you guys are always awesome. Thank you for inviting me. I'll come back anytime you want. I think I'm out of time, so I'm going to pass the mic off to Jeanette. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for interacting with me. It's been a pleasure. Hope to see you soon.